yeah welcome back to another video it's field another blend wine uh today the field from herman weimer red 2020 um which is a wine we've been making kind of going back even to the late 90s with the estate red and into the early 2000s um and then it's sort of changed its name a little bit but um for most of us working here it's always been um looking like this and uh really kind of pulling from a similar section of of land of uh vineyard so the field is a blend focused mainly on what we call in the production vineyard world the steel building vineyard in magdalena um, we have the barn where the tractors live up in Magdalena, Travis Road. And behind that barn, that steel structure is a vineyard of uh, Riesling, Cabernet Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet uh, Franc, and Merlot. And then there used to be a little bit of Chardonnay. That was kind of the steel building vineyard. Um, this wine sources heavily from the steel building red varieties there. So the Cab Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot that were planted in 2003 for nursery production. Um, we wanted to have Herman and Fred put that in the ground to have a reliable source of budwood material for those specific varieties. Um, and then starting then, once we had grapes coming off of that, we started making a blend. And then starting, I think in 2014-ish, um, we started to look at them really as a unit and only pick them and ferment them all together. Um, yeah. So all the variety, the, the Cabernet Franc, Cab so Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot are all picked on the same day, brought to the winery, processed together. So we usually co-ferment them in a mixture of open top wood barrels, um, as well as, um, you know, the macro bins. And then we, uh, Generally, don't do a lot of really don't do a lot of whole cluster inclusion on this on this block. Um, we tend to destem all the fruit, um, and then everything is barreled together, um, all in a mix of neutral, um, neutral older barrels, larger format, kind of the standard for what we're using mostly on red wines in the production as a whole. Um, this year, the 2020 has a little interesting and um important distinction from previous field reds even um the 2019 its most recent uh, counterpart in that there is quite a bit of blaufrankish in this final blend um blaufrankish uh, lemberger which we've been bottling as a single varietal and many people have uh, seen and, and know we put a very small block uh next to the road at magdalena in 2017 of young vines uh, we planted in 2017 and so in 2020 we had a pretty uh good good sized crop on on those uh young lemberger plants and we fermented those separately uh thinking maybe one two lots might go into the regular blaufrankisch but it didn't really fit as well with the regular blaufrankisch so we utilized them um in the field red, which brought a really nice component um, that we kind of have not, we've had Blaufrankisch in there before, but not at really a, a significant uh, number of, in terms of percentage in the last few vintages. So this is a new addition, I would say, to the wine, um, having all that young vine Lemberger, which has lots of fruit. I think the last few vintages, if you look at 19, 18, 17, they're really all very the field reds are quite dense not the not a lot of fruit to them there's definitely some but you know especially they can be one of our more brooding uh structural wine even though it's our red table wine it doesn't really fall into that kind of easygoing um light red category at all um it's tended to be a yeah a bit more on the darker fruit end. I think the Blaufrankisch having that in this year really um, brought a, a lift and a, a fruit element to the 
to the wine, which we didn't have in previous vintages. Yeah, so on the nose, I think you immediately, to me, what jumps out actually is some of those Blaufrankish characters that we've been seeing in our work with it, the variety of the last few years is kind of funny. Um, you get a little bit of that violet, white pepper kind of lifted aromatics I was talking about um, earlier um, on the palate. delicious wow um great yeah i think it has it has um it has some nice mid palate structure but it's not like really hefty you know it's kind of sits there nicely in the in a way it's it's not overpowering but there's definitely some good tannin coming from the from the cabernets varieties both of them in there cabernet sauvignon often gets the kind of tannic wrap versus its uh parent grape Cabernet Franc but Cabernet Franc has, can have really nice tannin also and is always important to not forget that about that variety yeah I think it it uh, the finish and it also finishes with some with some acid and some good some good lift which is which is really pleasant makes it really nice to go back and and drink some more um so yeah uh we will be back with another video maybe not about a blend wine this time <laughs> the next one we'll see Awesome. Thank you, Cheers. Dylan.